thank you all for being here. Um, in the chat, um, we have Amanda, Carol, um, Teresa Levine, and Marina from Heart Centered Tarot, my sister, uh, Rockstar, Mother's Tarot. Hi, Loretta. And um, we got Viviani and Linda. And right now, um, I'll focus on reading this message from the Palladian um, who calls herself Ura. <clears throat> Didn't know how to spell it. I just guessed <laughs> Ura. So <laughs> however that's spelled. Um, <clears throat> so I just got this message uh, yesterday. So uh, I wanted to get it out. And um, there's a lot of messages that I've had in the backlog that that's why I'm doing so many today, so many lives with um, these wonderful transmissions that I've gotten. And um, just pausing to make sure I have my sound on correctly. <laughs> so without further ado, I will start this transmission. <clears throat> Um, so this is the Palladian who calls herself Ura. We would like to channel a message through you today. We are the, a star collective of light beings who bring you greetings and joy for your evolution on the planet Earth. We went through similar event eons ago, and we wish to share how this played out for us. We were a planet that had many groups of beings who thought things differently. Uh, and I know there was some galactic war at that point. This is just me saying, you know, I did know that some things happened and the Palladians actually came down and colonized Lemuria. Um, so uh, that I did know. But uh, this, anyway, this caused divisions within our society. We wish to tell you that allowing the evolution of humanity will be a very, very wondrous thing. We, when we got to a place where we were at a tipping point, we were lucky to have outer guidance that steered our planet toward peaceful coexistence. And this was the catalyst for change, for it was either annihilate ourselves or come together in the one light. And I think when they say annihilate themselves, they're talking about their brethren who came to cause trouble <laughs> with their planet. There's a lot of connectedness, but, you know, different um, races. We slowly got on board with the idea, not all at once, but gradually as more and more people shifted their light frequencies, we brought light into the collective consciousness of beings on our planet. <clears throat> so over time, things shifted to the light. And we live in complete harmony now. This harmony was not instantaneous, but long awaited as factions vied for power and position. But even as that occurred, it was revealed as an old system that was breaking down and only having its last hurrah. We share this with you so you will realize that you may see things on your planet by mankind that demonstrate a cross purpose, but do not let that old system, which is dying, affect you. This structure is a 3D model that will no longer be no longer exist because it has no energy to support it any longer. So you may sense the old paradigm is fading and those embedded in it are trying to hang on but will eventually fade from public view as the new paradigm of fifth dimensional frequencies of light become the resonance of this planet. This is a new earth. Old systems are ending and collapsing as of this message. Just be observational and do not attach to the drama playing as it is only temporary, as the old system is on its death throes. We are very excited for humanity. You will experience the love that is unfathomable, that sense of unconditional love 
that encompasses all. This will be your reality. Now go about your business free from the drama of the outside world and only allow in the higher frequencies of light, love, and oneness of divine source. We are the Palladian Collective. Aura, your friend and star seed of light. And that was the end of transmission. Now I went, I pulled a card for this and I got the Ace of Swords, which is the gift of mental clarity. Awakening inspired thought and activating the logos of the divine. Now the logos is the word. It's the word. It's God is divine source and the word is love. So it's pretty fitting, fitting for this transmission. And um, that's it for this. It isn't a very long one, but, you know, they're all pretty amazing. And some of them later today will have a lot more details in it that I haven't heard before. So that's pretty interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, Rockstar. Well, you know, Rockstar, here's the thing about reptilian, the reptilian thing, okay? It is an old paradigm that's going away. It's already on the downswing, so it doesn't matter what has been said in um, theories about reptilians running our planet or any of that kind of thing, because that, you know, we come from a reptilian brain. <laughs> Let's put it that way. We're all one in the one light and every part of us is showing us something about ourselves. And even the point where beings have come in and interacted with us is all divinely ordered. Everything is the way it needs to be <clears throat> as we move forward toward enlightenment. And if you concentrate on things that are um, of lesser vibration, you will lower your vibration. If you concentrate on love, light, higher frequencies, that's not to say that things aren't happening in the world. You can observe, but don't attach your emotion to it. And don't it would be best if you didn't put your awareness on um, lower vibrational thoughts that aren't going to serve you well so just a tip from me um, i think we've all gone those different avenues and what serves you best is to stay in the light and love and unconditional love for everyone and every single being on in this whole entire universe multiverse in all dimensions in space and time we're all part of divine source so no matter what um so i think everything will be uh, really gelling in front of us and we're going to see how things play out and it's all going to make sense because as we open up to the fifth dimensional frequencies that we will have more aha moments and understand more about how this earth plane, this teaching uh, planet <clears throat> works within all of the dimensions. What we are thought of outside of earth, how the other dimensions look at us and you know, it's a pretty sought after place to get in and play. <laughs> you learn a lot of stuff here. So you have the yin and yang, the good and bad, the dark and light. It's to play. It's to involve. It's to understand. It's just not for you to take like it's dramatically real. It's really just like Shakespeare said, we're all players on the stage. It's for our evolution. So if you look at it that way, it's a better way to frame it. So, you know, you aren't worried about anything. Everything is the way it should be. And we're here for fun. 
and to evolve. So this timing right now to be on Earth is pretty magical that we are here during this time. And we never knew when this time would come, this evolving moment. Because man, humanity had to get to the point where we had enough of the collective that were pushing the energy up. And that allowed the opening. It could have been 10 years from now. It could have been in 1980, but it didn't happen because we didn't have enough. So this is a monumentous time, really amazing. And um, I just want to tell all of you, you know, in the chat, um, I hope maybe after I'm done with all the channeling that I have today, all the messages to bring forward to you all, um, I'll come back on and do personal readings. But right now during the um, channel messages, I'd just like to um, focus on those. And um, thank you so much for being in the chat, everyone. Uh, it's so good to see you. Hi, MJ420. Who else is in here? Oh, did I say hi, Rockstar? I said hi, Mother's Tarot. Yeah, it was so nice of you to join me. And um, yeah, I appreciate that. And uh, <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you for coming. Oh, Viviani, thank you. Um, so my next in my next channel message is in about 15 minutes. So stay tuned. <laughs> And uh, I won't run my intro for that one, <laughs> so you don't have to sit through it, but it, I love it. It's fun. Uh, anyway, I was so happy to have you all here. I absolutely adore you all, and uh, I'll see you in about 15 minutes for the next one, which is the Arcturians, my favorite group of beings, by the way. I've done lots of work with them, so um, I'll see you in about 15 minutes. Love you guys. Bye-bye.